when I'm on stage, you know, I really feel alive. You know, it's when I really feel like myself. But I think just the fact that we get to impact the lives of thousands of children a week, it's, it's, really, it's really quite quite a nice thing to sit back at the end of the day and know that we were in these various schools and then talk to my teachers and see how the kids did and realize that what we're doing is actually making a uh, change and an impact in the world. The other night, dear, was I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken, so I hung my head and I cried. Yes, theater was always in my life. Uh, my father, uh, you know, is a musician, so he had me going to rehearsals and shows. And then when, when I was really young, he was involved in St. Francis Parish, and they had a variety show. And then the second I could be involved in plays, I was in plays. And you know, I, I was always trying to get the family to laugh. You know, and my grandfather spoke only Italian. He lived in the house with me, so like my way of communicating with, communicating with him was to make him laugh. So he, he would, I would like do this saluting thing and fall down and do this whole like army act that I think I stole from Soupy Sales. And, uh, and he would love it, you know, and, uh, and people responded to me being funny and I was funny. So it's like anything else. You, if you get a good response, you're gonna continue doing it, you know? So that's what I did. Oh, there's nothing I love more than it's Spin it on my finger. How did I wind up making music for children? It's such a such an interesting way to make a living. I had not thought of doing that, to be honest. I was I was writing uh, independent music in the city, playing with some really good players. I had residencies in the city. I was playing weekly, and um, things were going really well. Um, it's a hard way to make a living, though, being an independent artist. And I had a daughter, and uh, she was a baby, and I was living in Jersey City, and I took her to a music class. And the music class was a little um, watered down, maybe. The music was very sing-songy and no backbeat and melody-driven, which is great. I condone all of it. But for me, I had hair, a little bit of long hair, and I was a rock drummer and songwriter. I was like, I need something a little more pep. So I wrote her some songs. I'm going to the dock. I'm going to get a shot. And when I leave, I'm going to get a lollipop, going to get a lollipop. At some point, I realized that the songs that I was writing was, you know, getting through the, to the children. It was clicking with them. I think that was the moment when I realized, wow. I mean, I have, I have the people in my hand here, you know, and they're really, um, in a good way, buying what I'm putting out there. And, and uh, it inspired me to write more and and uh, and feel more confident about delivering this material. We're all in the kitchen, all getting down. Everybody is surrounded by our sound. When you're on stage and people are interacting and, and the love is going out and the love's coming back and there's that symbiotic relationship, that energy flow, I mean, anything's possible. It's really the audience is the is the key to that and, and how you're developing that rapport with them. Feel the beat steady in time. Kids are jamming and babies don't cry. The services that Rockness Music does now, they all didn't happen overnight. You know, it started as just parents and me in a room playing guitar, singing, shakers, all kinds of stuff. But what happened is, you know, a school said, Michael, will you come in? We love your energy. It's infectious. Will you come and do something at our school? I said, yes. And then someone else said, Michael. And then schools actually started compare, competing with one another. You know, they wanted our company in there because we do something very special. Parents got wind that we're in the schools or they were in our classes and they said, do you do birthday parties? And we we're like, uh, yeah, yes, we do birthday parties. So it just kind of steamrolled. Like I was saying, uh, you know, snowball rolling downhill. Next thing you know, we have various services in various schools, New York, New Jersey, metropolitan area. It's very busy. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. It's not necessarily about success. Yeah, I support my family with this company and uh, I support other people and other people's families with this company, um, with the lovely employees we have. But it's really about, it's all about the kids. It's all about the delivery and the impact we're having. So it's something that can't be, you know, uh, weighed in financial gain. It's more about, you know, uh, almost like a spiritually, you know, positive experience. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine, yeah, yeah.